If you are a teenage boy growing up without your dad in your life, then this, uh, these videos are, are primarily for you. If others are watching and getting value, that's great. But if you're growing up without your dad and you've got questions, then put them in the comments or send them to me on this channel so I can make videos for you. Um, I'm going to shave and I'm going to tell you a story while I'm shaving. I... I, uh, when I was in elementary school, probably fifth grade or so, they had these posts. You've probably seen them. They probably still have them places. So these big steel posts, and they'd fill them with concrete and drilled into the ground, and it would run along the edge of a parking lot so that it would separate the, the parking lot from, from the playground. So, so cars couldn't drive out there. Unless they went through the gate that was controlled and locked, right? So they have these posts, and they're just about three feet high, right? And a uh, very common thing that we would do as elementary school students would be to put your hands on them and hop over them, kind of like a leapfrog thing. Uh, and it was kind of fun, and we'd go down the row and do those, waiting for recess to end or whatever. And I remember uh, I was there, and some of the uh, cool kids, some of the cool guys particularly, could actually, and they were probably taller than me, but they could actually just jump over them without putting their hands on it first. You know, so not doing leapfrog, they just jump over it, straddle it, and clear it. Well, it's like, I want to, I wonder if I can do that. I kind of want to fit in with the cool guys that could do that. So guess what I did? I tried. And guess what happened? I didn't make it. So instead of clearing it, I landed right on top of it. It, it kind of just crushed my gonads with my body weight, which fortunately I wasn't that heavy, but it still hurt. It's, it's pretty painful. Um, as most of us know, either where to attack if we need to defend ourselves or where to protect if someone's after us, right? So I landed right in my crotch on top of this pole. And what's the next thing you worry about? Who saw? Like, so you're in, you're in terrible pain, but you're worried about who saw. <laughs> so I'm looking around, hoping no one saw me, trying not to let the tears come because it hurts. And... Uh, and then just gracefully get out of sight somewhere and so you can suffer <laughs> without being in public. And eventually it quits hurting. But have you ever done anything like that? There's a few lessons in this, believe it or not. First of all, don't do things just to try to fit in with the cool crowd, especially if they're dumb. That may or may not have been dumb, but if I was thinking about it, I could have tried. I could have, like, jumped right next to one and seen how high I got before I actually tried to jump the real thing. So there would have been a smarter way to do it, potentially. Some of that's just lessons learned, right? Um, I could have just chosen not to do it. <laughs> Another lesson is, you know, don't, don't be so worried what other people are thinking about you. That's not the best way to make decisions, but a lot of us do that, and especially when we're teenagers. And maybe one of the lessons is you're just going to sometimes do things that you might consider later that were stupid. But um, learn from them and move on. So... Stepsons, if you're watching this video, I hope you get some value out of it. Let me know in the comments what uh, things you might have done that you've regretted. 
and uh, maybe what lessons you learned from that as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what videos you'd like uh, made as well. What questions do you have? What would you ask your dad if you had a dad in your life? And I'll do my best to get a video answer back out to you on that. All right, have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.